welcome friend to this session of exception handling application block before even uh, i before even before i start this uh, session you know i would request everyone to look into the logging application block if you have not looked into the video because the exception handling application block uh, ties up heavily with logging application block when we want to use it practically in projects so i would request that at least go and look into the logging application block before we start with exception handling right so exception handling application blocks helps us to uh, it it gives us a ready made framework on which we can do error handling now what happens in normal scenario your application sends a error uh, raises an error and you have a nice try and catch block and by using and whatever errors you get in the catch block you try to log into it, into a event viewer you try to send an email you try to write it into a file now rather than you know uh, what you call uh, coding your own framework from scratch enterprise application block helps us to uh, helps helps you to define the framework for the error handlers right so what we will do is that we will make a small application where we will catch a an error and then we will log those error into the into either event viewer email or file you know now for logging these errors into these sources we will be using the logging application block so that's why i was telling you know please go through the logging application block and to define the error handlers we'll be using our uh, we'll be using the exception handling blocks so we would be needing two things in this uh, tutorial one is the exception handling block and one is the logging application block logging application block is exp is explained in a in a separate tutorial so please do look into that and in this tutorial we'll be more concentrating on the exception handling blocks so the application what we will be trying to make is that we'll create two buttons we will fire errors on the on those two buttons a uh, uh, forcible error on those two buttons and then we'll see that how those errors are then logged into event viewers and files so the first thing is now here's my project right and this is my config file and i will go and open my enterprise configuration and what i'll do is i'll open the web config file right now the first thing i will do is that you know i will i will create a logging uh, uh logging uh, i will add the logging framework to my web config so right click add new and i will say that okay create a logging application block now by default the logging application block uh, if you have if you have seen my previous tutorial it logs into the event viewer so we'll keep it as it is what we'll do is that you know we'll just name this source as a log event log source so event log source right and uh, you need to also define the machine name so let me define the machine name for this and my machine name is currently hp and that's it so now we have defined our logging application block which says that this logging application block that is event log sources will actually log into the event viewer done and done this now we need to create our exception handling block so here i have created a exception handling application block and we need to add exception policy let's name this as policy 1 so i'll say policy 1 and in the policy 1 i will add a exception type now what i will do is that i will catch all the generic exceptions raised in dotnet so i'll just an exception object is one of the generic exceptions raised by dotnet so i have created a exception now i'll say okay create the logging handler which will actually log and i'll say in the log category that use the logger defined event log source and if you remember the event log source was defined here in the category source which logs into event viewer so any kind of error raised by using policy 1 will actually log into the event log and i would say that okay uh, my format type will be text so it will just just log it as a simple text and not as a uh, simple text you can also use uh, use uh, xml if you want but at this moment i don't want to make it i don't want the tutorial to be complicated right then and done this now our web config file has been set now you need to refer you need to refer to two uh, uh you need to refer add two references of enterprise error handling so one is the enterprise exception handling application block and the second one is the logging provider because you remember that you know logging provider will help you to log to event sources while exception handling will raise errors 
now you'll, you need to just import them so import microsoft dot practices dot enterprise library dot exception handling and second you also need the logger so import dot microsoft dot practices dot enterprise dot logging great now what i'll do is that you know uh, in the button throw i have only created one policy but if i want i can create multiple policies what we'll do is that we'll create one more policy exception policy one Okay, uh, exception. Uh, let, let me create a second policy and I'll say this as policy 2. Alright. Policy 2. And in this policy, what I'll do is that I'll say, okay, in this policy, I will catch the exceptions, but I will not log them. It will just, you know, uh, it will be, it will just happen, but nothing is going to happen actually. Right. Or, or else let's do it some let's make it more complicated what we'll do is that uh, we'll create a new log handler and okay in this policy what I'll say is that you know replace the handler with a exception message saying my message welcome friend to this session of exception handling application block before even uh, I before even before I start this uh, session you know I would request everyone to look into the logging application block if you have not looked into the video because the exception handling application block uh, ties up heavily with logging application block when we want to use it practically in projects. So I would request that at least go and look into the logging application block before we start with exception handling. Right. So exception handling application blocks helps us to uh, it it gives us a ready-made framework on which we can do error handling. Now what happens in normal scenario? Your application sends an error, uh, raises an error, and you have a nice try and catch block. And by using and whatever errors you get in the catch block, you try to log into it into an event viewer, you try to send an email, you try to write it into a file. Now, rather than you know uh, what you call uh, coding your own framework from scratch, enterprise application block helps us to uh, helps helps you to define the framework for the error handlers. Right. So, what we will do is that we will make a small application where we will catch an error and then we will log those error into the into either event viewer email or file you know now for logging these errors into these sources we will be using the logging application block so that's why i was telling you know please go through the logging application block and to define the error handlers we'll be using our uh, we'll be using the exception handling blocks so we would be needing two things in this uh, tutorial one is the exception handling block and one is the logging application block Logging application block is ex is explained in a in a separate tutorial, so please do look into that. And in this tutorial, we'll be more concentrating on the exception handling blocks. So the application, what we will be trying to make is that we'll create two buttons. We will fire errors on the on those two buttons, a uh, uh, forcible error on those two buttons, and then we'll see that how those errors are then logged into event viewers and files. So the first thing is now here's my project, right? And this is my config file. And I will go and open my enterprise configuration. And what I'll do is I'll open the web config file. Right. Now the first thing I will do is that you know I will I will